Hey, you. Hey, you. Sig is once again letting us lick the spoon in the next patch that they cooking up. We got a sample of new mission types that look pretty tasty. So go ahead and do what you do, like up, sub up, and ring up the bell like a boss. For organizations and civilians who fly with friends, you got the Synced Assassination mission. Instead of handing out missions that are tough to do solo and calling it a multiplayer mission, this one requires players to split up. Two targets, two teams. As the teams locate their targets, communication will be important to sync your attack, or a target will be alerted and just jump away. The Prison Transport Assault Mission is independent contract work from the flyest girl in the verse, Switch Pacheco. She's got enough pull to sabotage a caterpillar transporting prisoners, and that's where you come in. She got friends in the prison refrigerators that you need to identify and then free. So after you murk the escort, you've got to assault the ship, taking out all the guards. Once you're clear, you gotta locate the ship manifest, revive her people, and get out of Dodge undetected. The El Jefe of the missions is the Idris attack. Small objectives will need to be completed, which will lead to bigger ones, and these will build up until finally a stolen Idris will make an appearance. And the Idris ain't nothing to play with. During the playtest, CIG sent 9 or 10 tallies at it. The Idris took a licking and kept on ticking. So this will be a mission that takes a bunch of folks to dig into. Completing this mission is a one-off. Once you complete it, you can only run it again by joining someone who hasn't completed it. So this should send some warm and fuzzy vibes through the community as folks join forces to take down a true capital ship. For the folks who want to work as crew on the ship, I recommend taking a look at my MFD tutorial I'll be dropping next week. Know how to manage the systems, people. For all the pilots looking for a little booty, a new addition to Star Citizen will be ships carrying varied cargo. Apparently, you'll be able to destroy or disable ships and actually make off with some valuables. No word on how you transfer the goods from their cargo grid to yours, but it really opens up some gameplay options other than taking down ships just cause. Some folks in the comments been getting a little thirsty for the Cuddy Blue. Work on it has been ongoing as CIG tries to get it just right down to the paint. Interior work is coming together as they figure out the right design for the components, like the prison pods. Can you imagine having to stand up in those things for the whole ride? And what if you gotta take a number two? Ugh, I'd never open it up with a prisoner or two. It was out of my ship, man. The Asperia Prowler is also moving along. The big Tavaran dropship. I was a little surprised by the interior design after flying my Asperia Blade, which Looks super alien with some integrated human tech versus the Prowler's completely human looking interior. The blade is based off the Van Duel fighter and the Prowler off of Tavaran tech. But Asperia doesn't sell captured ships. They're reverse engineered and reconstructed using their own tech. Kind of the way Americans sell awful versions of Mexican food. I'm sure the ships will turn out much better though. CIG is adding more small details that make the game look so incredible. The lights which stay on all day will now be cut back to only nighttime before they get hit with a big bill in collections. Had they not mentioned it, I don't know if I'd notice, but I'll be looking out for it come 3.9. New Microtech based clothes are incoming. I got to have that coat that's looking like it's rocking that drip, man. I mean, everybody gonna get it, but can't nobody rock it like your boy. By the way, I'm looking for some real life folks who can design some clothing for your boy. Not just t-shirt printing, but somebody that can do a full design, so holla at me. We got a little taste of Wally's Bar and New Babbage featuring all the cocktails you can drink, crazy visuals, a dome you can see Port Tressler from, and a DJ who got no name. CIG, come on, man. Let me be the DJ, man. Who I got to harass. Anyway, that's your hot tea for the week. 7-Up Salute. Fly dirty.